We are in Little Hawking, Ohio for the Bad Medicine Hard Enduro. Good luck, Bob. Good luck. We've got three races over the weekend. The first one is this, a very short track time trial. So essentially a sprint enduro type test section with some harder features in it. Nice first corner there. You can tell my course walk went well. I didn't walk it. That was a mistake. You come down this hill, we got a big log off camber, square up, plop over it. So since it's a real short test, quick course, it's a sprint. I mean, you really just gotta push. It's, it's the balls to the wall, call in the mail, opening the can of throttle. Although I'm fully equipped on a hard enduro setup with gummy tires, not the best. As you can see, it's dry as a bone out here. Oh, oh I dropped down into this wall. I didn't see that thing in there. I did actually look at that section before the race and I still messed up. So walking the course doesn't make a difference. Alright, we've got an enduro cross section here. There's this rider that was there, so I was gonna go right, but that looked bad. That looked real bad over there, so pivot it to the left. I'm not anything special in enduro cross, but I do want to try an actual enduro cross event someday. I gotta look into that. Because I need more disciplines of dirt bike racing to embarrass myself in. So come up this hill and you got this left-hander into this washed-out ditch. I walked this, I actually saw this section, but it didn't matter, because this rider got a little stuck. I'm trying to catch the number, I can't recognize who this is. We get on this open road and I open her up and then, holy crap, it's a right-hander. Sorry. That would have been an excellent block pass had I known this was a corner. A fully unintentional block that didn't result in the pass. Not see that corner. There's one of those where you're following the rut, but it's ribboned off. I got the bike running a lot better since Tough Like Aurora. If you guys remember, things were not dialed in, you could say. So I sat down, I got the jetting tuned in, and the suspension tuned in to my liking. So. Things are feeling a lot better. You can just tell I'm a lot more comfortable on the bike. Get around that guy. I still don't know who it is. I, I don't know why. It's probably someone I know and I don't even know that I know. Nice little rocky stream bed. Now, if it was wet out here, this would probably be very challenging. But with it being so dry, these obstacles aren't that hard. And I know it's supposed to be hard enduro, but you can't control the weather. And so, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, baby. A lot of logs you gotta be careful of. So like I said in the beginning, there are three races for the weekend. This being the very shortest of them all by a lot. Like this was only 
five to ten minutes, I think, for most riders. And all your times from the whole weekend, all three races get added up, and that's how you're scored. Fastest rider wins. So this race, being so short, has very little impact on the final results because if your total time for the weekend is three hours, for example, this five-minute race has very little weight into your final result. Coming right to the end here, I wish I walked this because I was like, where am I going? And then... This log, there's a much better line. There's a way better line over this whole thing. So I finished the lap up. I don't know how I finish because I can't find results. So we'll just say that I won, even though there were some faster riders there that may have beaten me. Perhaps Cody Webb. I don't know. Tristan Hart. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on race number two coming up.